To mitigate investment risk, perhaps no idea is more sacred than the idea of diversification. That is, don't put all your eggs in one basket. And for most investors, this advice has paid off handsomely, where a mixture of stocks and bonds has produced a reasonable level of risk and reward. But more recently, if you're finding it more difficult to manufacture diversification while generating reasonable income or returns, you're not alone. Which is why one day we're reading 6040 is dead and the next is making a comeback. And the idea that you have, you know, you say, I've got 60% in stocks and 40% in bonds and, and then have a big announcement, now we're moving it to 65, 35. I mean, that, that has to be pure nonsense. And at the end of the day, does it seem we're taking more risk to chase the same level of return? Well, newsflash, we are. In 2016, Talon, a leading investment consultant, published a piece of research they called Risky Business. They showed that since the 90s, portfolios have progressively had to take on more risk and complexity to hit a 7% return. In their latest update in early 2022, Callan estimated that the average investor needs to take nearly 16 times as much risk as 30 years ago to hit a 7% return. When we show this to folks, they're stuck. When looking at the numbers, we're picking jaws up off the floor when we remind them that the 10-year U.S. Treasury yielded nearly 12.5% at the end of 1984. That's right, effectively risk-free, a 12.5% yield was available. So while reminiscing about the good old days is always fun, it won't bring back double-digit returns on their risk-free credit. The reality is, portfolio construction today is challenging, and what's worked in the past isn't necessarily the best path forward. This uncertainty has opened what we call a risk gap, or a risk-reward gap to be more specific where for the average investor it gets ever more difficult building a portfolio that produces adequate income, a reasonable level of capital appreciation, and a meaningful level of diversification. Investing is hard and the stakes are high. Halo Investing can help. Halo's award-winning platform helps advisors and wealth managers access a class of investments we call protective investments. These include structured notes, annuities, and buffered ETFs. Beyond access, Halo's platform features education, portfolio consultation, and a technology suite that often integrates nicely with existing systems. Pre- and post-trade capabilities ease the administrative burden often associated with structured notes and annuities. Halo's multi-issuer platform promotes competitive pricing and transparency. Protective investments can help your clients' financial outcomes. There's the hard way and the Halo way. Let's get started.